Hey, what's up everyone? Um, Adam here for Urban Out Gaming. Um, happy holidays to you guys. Um, hope you guys had a good holiday season and a good um, happy new year. Um, I sure did. It was, uh, it was a fun, it was a fun end of the year. Um, so I hope you guys, and hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Um, so today guys on Civilization, watching episode three, um, and we're pretty much just, um, I'm in the phases of my Civilization, I'm getting to the phases of my Civilization where I'm kind of in a stalemate, um, it, it gets to the point, um, when you, when you get to about turn 50, you're starting to get to a point where you've got to, you've got to either expand your empire, which I'm doing right now, as you see, I have the settlers, um, um, you, you got to expand your empire, you've got to, um, you've then got to stabilize and make sure you don't overexpand, and then you've got to, uh, Ooh, got me a policy. I'm going straight honor here. Straight honor. Straight honor. Honor OP. Um, but you get to the point where you have to kind of just sit there and go turn to turn. You just press the space bar and you say, you know, next turn, next turn, next turn. Because you're just trying to get more technologies more policies, more units, more things built in your cities because no one's really interacting with you much in my opinion. I mean, the people are interacting with you obviously, but like they're not like you don't have a force enough to go take down freaking Bismarck or I mean, uh, not Biz. Well, his name is Bismarck, but to take down like Berlin or something. You you don't even have catapults, you know. You could, but it's just, it's not enough. It's not worth it. So, you start to get, from turn 50 to like 100 is pretty much just a lot of like, um, just a lot of strategic planning, because you've got to figure out how many cities you want to expand to. Um, you've got to make sure you don't stretch your gold to where you're not making any gold, because um, building roads to cities um, gives you... Uh, bonus and it gives you a trade route and it makes you be able to travel to your city um, faster on the roads from your, with your units so this is where actually strategy really really comes into play but it kind of sucks because I got shafted um, I do not like the area that I'm settled in right now at all but the thing is that I'm Oh, whoa, hello. Augustus Caesar of Rome. <sighs> Just sitting on his old chair while I'm s hacking through the forest with my samurai sword. OP. But, um. Oh, wow. Yeah, is it. <laughs> we just saw the barbarian ship. I literally just sit up there and. I heal one damage every turn, and they do one damage every turn, and then I'm just like, screw it, and I just attack their encampment, and then they just wipe me out. <coughs> but, um, I really don't like the area that I'm settled in here. Um, you know, northern Saudi Arabia area, west of the Himalayas, I mean, it kind of sucks. Like, I don't, like, I know I haven't discovered iron yet, and iron doesn't show up on my map yet until I have done iron working technology but right now it sucks I just I'm not a fan I'm not a fan I mean all I have is freaking incense cotton ivory and busiest people me at four wow I need to catch up in production but there's like nothing like all I have is like stone and like grassland. That's it. It kind of sucks, too. I mean, because the thing that sucks is, is whenever I play this game, my city demands, like, something that I don't have all the time. And I'm never lucky enough. There we go. That's where I just attack. I'm just like, screw it. Just attack. 
OP Samurais, man. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I beat them too. But, like, I always, my city always demands spices, or it's just something that I don't have. Of course, I never get lucky enough to where they demand the things I actually have. And, like, the things I actually have now are things that they demanded last time. And it's just so annoying. Ooh, I discovered the wheel. Um, it's just so annoying. But, I can't really do anything about it. <sighs> but, right now, everyone, I'm, I'm going towards a scientific or a militaristic win on this. So, I hope you guys continue to join me on my journey to that. Because um, it is going to be a lot of turns. I just have to get expanded more. I mean, I I just have to expand more and get money to where I can build a lot of arm 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 units because I mean, if I don't, there's just no way I'm going to be able to dominate everyone. Golden age. Um but there's just no way. So I have to like um I'm going to have I just that's why scientific's my backup plan because if I can just get free policies along the way and maybe do some research agreements, um, that'll really really help. And for you guys that don't know about research agreements, pretty much what they are is like they're between two countries, and you have to have a certain technology to even unlock them. And what it does is, um, I. Th I think it just, you pretty much just work together for like a set number of turns and you guys use the technologies that you both uh, discover. So like um, if you're doing like metal crafting and the other person's doing like sailing, then like you work together on one of them or you work together on one of them. Like, the, the, like do, you work together collectively on one of them or you work together on separate, or you you do separate ones, and you get theirs, and they get yours after you're done, or you guys get one done, you get like, you both do metal crafting, and you get it done quicker, and it's actually really helpful, especially if you can pair up with countries that aren't as far ahead as you, because then you're not really helping them benefit as much, so, you just gotta keep that in mind. Um, but going back to the where I'm at in land, like where I'm at in the region about my resources, what I'm hoping for is since I'm in Saudi Arabia or northern Saudi Arabia, and I'm going to probably take over Saudi Arabia, I'm hoping since in real life this is like the oil capital of the world, I'm hoping I get a ton of oil resources spawn when I uh, open that up whenever that, whatever technology that is, I can't remember, but because they spawn in the water and they spawn, I think... Actually, you know, yeah, they're just in the water, I think. They might be in the ground, too. But I'm hoping I get that, and then I'm hoping I get a crap load of uranium. Because uranium um, allows you to build nuclear weapons. <laughs> so, like, I just have a feeling... I just have a feeling that... Um, that this is going to be... Like a huge region for uranium and oil. So I'm really hoping that happens. But that's like probably a good 300 turns away before I even get that technology or the opportunity. So. What my plans though is I plan to create a land, a huge land army. Because I am nowhere near water. I'm like in the middle of freaking Asia. So, I mean, there's no point to build a, a kind of like a a seaport kind of city with a bunch of sh naval fleets and ships and stuff like that. So, I'm going to go for more of a land army. And my goal is to spread. I'm trying to spread to Saudi Arabia. And then I'm going to try to work my way into the city-states because I need to take them over. Because they're just a nuisance, honestly. Because the more city-states that I take over, the less they can vote for a certain person for a diplomatic victory. So I'm I'm just probably going to take, just keep gradually taking them over. Um, but I'm going to spread to Saudi Arabia, and then I'm 
I'm either going to go down to Africa or I'm going to just expand outward all around Asia and just try to take over the whole continent. Because if I take over the whole continent, I mean, that's a good... Like, if I take over all of Asia, that's probably three or four civilizations right there that I take out. If I take over Europe, that's probably another three or four. Um, because I'd say there's probably about three on Africa, maybe more. Two or three on... Like, probably one or two on South America, and then two or three on America, maybe. Maybe even one on America. Um, just depends on how they spawn the actual... Uh, how they spawn the actual countries and stuff. Because last game I played, like I said, when I was George Washington, um, he, I was the only one on America. England was the only one on South America. And then Asia was just a bunch of countries. Same with Africa. It was crazy. Asia, Europe, and Africa were just like a slew of countries. And like me and England both got our own continent, which was really nice. Really, really nice. And then, solely men of the Ottomans tried to uh, take over, like, Africa. I mean, not Africa, Alaska. And I was like, dude, get out of here, man. Like, what do you think you're doing? Like, he had, like, no home. Like, the Ottomans had no home. They were just, they got, like, ran out of their capital. Like, right there on the screen, you see them. And Kata or whatever, they got ran out of their capital, <laughs> and then, and then they were just like nomads, and they were going around just, they didn't have a home, and they were just selling cities. And I would go to like the city they just settled, and I would like destroy it with like a, with, like three fighter jets. It was hilarious. But yeah, so. can't wait to get to those turns. This is the point where you're just pressing space bar so much. When you have, like, you're just trying to get things going, like, trying to get turn turns to go by so you can get certain units and technologies. It's It goes by so quick. But I sent, I'm sending those scouts out that you saw on the screen just a little bit ago. Because I like to see where, you know, who's around me. And after I send those scouts out, I really do get a good picture of what's around me because I just want to kind of see everything and see you know what I'm up against no oh, golden age ended and the city states they're so annoying like like they are so annoying that's why I just take them out they're like oh, okay I want you to kill this barbarian game okay I don't mind that but then they're like I want you to kill the other cities they next to me. I'm like, dude, I'm going to lose friendship with you if I don't do this, but I can't literally do this. I mean, I have no catapults or anything, and they just want you to do whatever they want. And it's like, no, I'm not doing whatever you want. I'm just going to annihilate you because you're useless, and you have resources that I want. So it's just stupid. So that's why I kind of just destroy city states. Yes. I like him a lot, the Iroquois leader. Being friends, man. I'm trying to make a lot of friends. I'm try I, I try to gang up on like one or two people, and then I try to friend everyone else I can. But I get denounced a lot, too, because I just start building cities wherever I want. Because I really don't care. If they want to attack me, they can. Those barbarians like trying to come in my city. One annoying thing is barbarians like they just think they can take your workers and they do and it's so annoying. But guys, um I'm out of time on this video. Um if you guys liked it, please uh subscribe and like to Urban Owl Gaming. We appreciate that. Um I hope you guys join me on the next video. I'm just gonna keep keep chugging away, keep grinding up my civilization, and I hope you guys enjoy this series. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one, hopefully. Later.